Today, we've got a new battery from Time USB. Let's open it up. Now, this is a brand new model from Time USB. It's a 12.8 volt, 140 amp hour, and it says it has low temp charging protection. You can place four in series and four in parallel. Our terminal bolts are the common M8 size. And there's the battery itself. This looks like it's in the common form factor that we're used to with 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries. And here is their popular pro version, the 100 amp hour. And as you can see, it's exactly the same size. And let's get a weight on these two batteries. So this is the new 140 amp hour. And it comes in at 28.2 pounds. And this is the 100 amp hour pro version. And it comes in at 23.6 pounds. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna charge this guy up and then we'll do a capacity test. All right, so the battery is fully charged now. I've got it hooked up to the shunt and we're doing a time-lapse recording of the shunt data right there. And uh, I've got the alpha inverter. We can go ahead and turn that on. And uh, we'll go ahead and turn the AC on. See that we're pulling over 800 watts at the moment. Seemed like the BMS reset when I turned the inverter on, but it came back perfectly fine. So I'm guessing we're good. All right, so let's run this at medium. So we're showing about 65 amps. All right, so let's just let that run and We'll come back when it completes. All right guys, so we're coming up on completion of the capacity test. We're down to 2%. We've done 137.79 or 0.80 amp hours, 1,794 watt hours. I did turn the AC down on low because I needed to do some stuff and I needed some more time <laughs> before the capacity test completed, so. But yeah, impressive so far with this battery, you know, being the same size as the 100 amp hour version, but it's 140 amp hours. That's pretty awesome. All right, so we're down to 1%. We're at 139.52 amp hours, 1,815 watt hours. So I'm gonna say we're definitely gonna pass uh, the capacity test. So the question will be now is how much more after the 140 amp hours will we get? And there it is, 140 amp hours. So we have completely passed the capacity test. That's awesome. I really like how they're, they're making these batteries higher capacity and not making them larger. So that's really awesome. We, we've known for years that these batteries they have extra space in there. So now they're actually taking advantage of that unused space in these things. And on some of them, they're just actually making the battery smaller. Okay, so now the inverter's complaining over here. So let's go ahead and kill the load. And we'll turn off the inverter. 
All right, let's see what our final numbers are. 146.24 amp hours, 1,895 watt hours. Fantastic. All right, it's time for everybody's favorite part, the teardown. I've already got this lid cracked open, so it should come right up. There we go. And just like the other Time USB batteries, it looks pretty good. We got three, I think, eight gauge silicone wires for the negative. It's then also wrapped in this protective sheath. And then on the positive side, we've got what it feels like there's two, maybe two eight gauge in there. And the BMS is a Time USB labeled, it says 100 amp. Okay, this actually looks familiar. This looks like the BMS that's in the smart version. They're 100 amp hour 12 volt smart because it has this, they have this little B plus wire here. <laughs> Look guys. Look what I see. I wonder if Time USB knows about that. <laughs> okay, so moving right along. Yeah, it looks good. The the solder joints look fantastic. And I do see what looks like a thermal sensor. I believe it is right here. Okay. There's the case. Nothing special. Basic. All right. So here's the cells. It appears to be the bottom. Definitely are larger. Let's see if we can't flip it over. So they're arranged in it like that on their, you know, on their sides. And yeah, basically, there's the top of the cells right there. So there's the main positive uh, into our laser welded aluminum bus bars. And it just goes across and up to our main negative. Trying to see if I can find a QR code. It really appears that the QR codes are scratched out. Or is that some glue? Oh. I can't tell if that's scratched out or if that's just glue. Is it adhesive, you know, from this thing? Let's try to, let's try to clean that with some alcohol. So yeah, I don't know, it, I can't tell if this is like a scratched out, it almost appears like it's scratched out, but these stickers were over that area. It says uh, 05 and it says four pound one eight dash oh seven. And then 145602.2. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. So there's no markings on these cells that seem like factory markings. And it almost does appear that there may have been a factory marking. I'm not for sure, but it may have been removed. But as always, they had this, you know, they had this nice foam that's been cut out properly. This is the bottom of the battery, so it has a nice foam pad. It actually does have a double-sided tape, but they didn't, They I guess they opted to not, is it double, yeah. I guess they opted to not take the backing off of it. For me, that's great because it was easy for me to get the battery out, or easy for me to get the cells out of the box. Uh, whenever they have that double-sided tape in there, it's it's really hard. But then there's a thick foam pad, and then there's a fiber board, and then the cells, and then there's a banding and plastic corners on the cell. So uh, yeah, it's a high-quality assembly. The only thing that's a little fishy is <laughs> the QR codes missing on the cells. So let's dig this thermal probe out and try to test uh, the low temperature protection. 
There we go. That should actually be plenty enough for me to get to what I want to get to. Okay, so we got the charger attached and we'll plug it in. So as you can hear, the charger's running. The charge light is flashing. We'll get a current reading here. Pushing in 42 amps. So we'll use the duster to freeze that thermal probe and see if we start, see if we stop charging. We did. For some reason, my charger doesn't turn off always like it used to, but you can see here on the meter, when I freeze it, it stops drawing current. There you go. And then it'll warm back up. So there you go. It does in fact have a low temperature charging protection. All right guys, so I think that's the end of the video. We've done everything that we can pretty much do. My final thoughts on this battery, the assembly seems uh, very well done as with pretty much all the time USB batteries that I've took apart. I don't know what to think about the scratched out QR codes on the cells. Kind of leads me to believe that they're not a grade sales uh, but beyond that you know leave your comments tell me what you think about this battery it is definitely nice that it's, it's uh, more capacity and it's taking up more room in, in that shell so like you're actually using up pretty much all the space all right guys so if you like this content please like and if you're not subscribed yet please consider subscribing that really helps the channel out and i'll catch you guys on the next one